this grass is perfect. Perfect for lawn bowling and croquet. I'm the Victoria Lawn Bowling Club to find out what makes these sports so fun and fascinating. Croquet really got going in England in the, in the 1880s or so. And one of the reasons it became popular was because there were no sports, no outdoor activities in which men and women could engage together. One of the wonderful things about croquet is gender is, doesn't matter. You can get top players who are women, top players who are men, they all compete equally. But then some uh, religious leaders decided that the men and the women were having too much fun going off into the bushes looking for lost balls, and they started calling croquet a sinful activity, and suddenly the popularity declined very quickly. Very nice. What you want to do is take advantage of the natural structure of the body, which gives you this parallel construction so that this ends up being a fairly straight line, okay? Which is why we do it that way instead of across the body, because that uses everything differently. This is the standard grip, and this is the Irish grip. Well, the Victoria Lawn Bowling Club is starting its 109th year here in Beacon Hill Park. We have about 100 members. That includes both our lawn bowling and our croquet members. Right. Yep. See, you did better than I did. This is a half-size court, fairly approximate. We lay out the strings and then we set up the court. So it's got the right dimensions, but it's a little bit small. It's easy to practice okay. on, it's easy to teach on. The power comes from the backswing. Okay. So instead of pushing, which gets everything out of yep. control, you put the power in, and then you just kind of guide it through. Okay. The balls are a little over three inches wide, and the hoops are about one-eighth of an inch wider than that. <laughs> so you have to be pretty accurate when you're seeing. That's one of the things we're trying to teach is how to hit the ball so that it goes straight. <laughs> I just want to get through myself before Blue does, so wow. I jump <laughs> over it. In this case, I knocked Blue through, so they get the point anyway. Yeah. The hoops are always in the same relationship. There are six hoops and a center peg, and you always go through them in the same sequence. Go through all six hoops in a particular direction, and then you go through the same six hoops in the opposite direction for a total of 12 hoops on the court. A lot of fun to uh, play a kind of a game that uh, required skill, a uh, good line, accuracy actually, very precise kind of placing of the ball, good competition, you get to whack the other balls away and get whacked. You get to make hoops, which is very satisfying, and you get to laugh. The fun comes when you start trying to move your opponents out of the way, and they're trying to move you out of the way, and you're trying to get in position, and they're trying to get you out of position, and you're struggling around trying to get your hoops finished before they get theirs finished. Nice shot. great place to be, it's outdoors, fun people, and when I'm asked which I like best, croquet or bowling, it's whatever I'm doing at the time. The statistics on lawn bowling uh, in general in Canada are uh, a large percentage of it is recreational. Uh, people come to play for fun uh, and fun competition. Uh, but there is always a stream. We have a player development person here and coaches here and they teach people to play and they also help them improve their game so they can be more competitive because we have tournaments here, we have city tournaments, provincial and national, international tournaments. So people can go from here and, and play anywhere and you can play pretty much anywhere in the world if you're a member of a lawn bowling club. Do you know what golf is? Mm -hmm. Well, golf is a game that's exasperating and it wasn't exasperating enough, so they made long bowls, all right? And I'll tell you why. You see this side here mm -hmm. has got a large ring on it. Mm -hmm. This side here has got a small ring, and it's got a bias. Okay. So it's not going to roll <laughs> straight. 
is very flexible in terms of how many, how, what kind of a game you play when you come. So depending on who shows up, we make teams and we play. You see? You see? <laughs> uh, croquet season is all year round. They come out on a, any good day. Lawn bowling season tends to start uh, beginning of May and goes through to the end of September. But we played on New Year's Day, on Valentine's Day. Yes, if the weather's good, we do. We have special days during the winter that we play lawn bowling as well. People want to learn, they should get in touch with the club and uh, then we will talk to them about when the lessons are going to be and when, they can, when we can fit them in. For my first day out, I'm glad I wore my whites and I can't wait to come back and try it again. For Community Producers, I'm Heather Leary.